You go to sleep and you belong to one organization, one team. Six days a week you play, work, battle and travel with the same 20 guys. And then you awaken to a new reality. Another city, different colors and a different jersey, changing faces and another number. Sometimes all it takes is three minutes and your name in a wire, and suddenly you clear the waiver. Some teams trade to win in the very near future, and others are rebuilding, retooling and starting over. These are some of the stories that occur at the NHL trade deadline. And what we learn is that sometimes you are more than just a number. The Canadians will welcome a few new faces to the Bell Centre and an old foe, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I was trying to make my poulet with my blonde. I got the call from Stan Bowman, who told me that we didn't want to change, but Mark Bergeron wanted to change. So it was really an honor to be here and to find Mark in my organization. I called my dad immediately. He told me, I'm going to trade. I said, are you sure? Parce que Philippe, c'est un petit blagueur. Mon père ne me croyait pas pendant 5 minutes. Alors j'ai dit, trader où? J'ai dit Montréal. Il dit oui. J'ai dit, oh, c'est incroyable. On était vraiment sous le choc. C'était magique. Hier, j'étais un peu sous le choc, mais aujourd'hui, je suis pas fier de, de porter les couleurs du Canadien. Hier, on s'est couché un Black Ox. Aujourd'hui, on s'est levé un Canadien. C'est beaucoup d'émotions. Ça va Oui, toi? Oui, c'est bon. Bonjour. Merci. Tu du contrôle? Oui. Il était dans une équipe qui avait une chance d'aller à la Coupe Stanley. Une fois qu'on s'est dit ça, ça a pris 15 secondes. On s'en va vers une équipe qui est à peu près l'organisation la plus prestigieuse, euh, tout sport confondu, au monde. Alors, automatiquement, c'est devenu magique. C'est parti. C'est le même numéro que tu avais là-bas? Ouais. C'est rare, ça. C'est le numéro qu'on a de ça ici, là. Ouais. Ah, c'est une fois sur 100. <rire> ça arrive. Honnêtement, je pense que c'est ma deuxième fois. On a tellement de chandelles de retirer. Puis tous ceux qui sont pris, j'ai immédiatement appelé euh, la compagnie qui fait notre broderie. Puis on joue demain soir, puis on part dimanche matin pour la Californie. Elle a dit « Ah, je vais voir si on peut euh, trouver du staff. » Elle a dit « Il faut que tu trouves du staff. <rire> » Finalement, ça a bien été. Puis le pire pour l'argent, je crois, c'est les gants. Il arrive, il y a des gants là, veut voir. Dans le temps, quand c'était du cuir, bien sûr, ça, ça prenait un mois au voir à causer ça. Tandis que maintenant, avec les nouvelles technologies, les nouveaux matériaux, c'est une bonne pratique avec une paire de gants puis jouer, là, c'est sûr que... C'est un petit peu difficile pour le voir. Hier soir euh, également, en fin de soirée, j'ai été rencontré Thomas Fleischmann. Parce qu'il m'a appelé et il prenait l'avion à 8 h ce matin. Fait que ça prenait euh, tous ces trucs sur l'équipement et si tu veux. Comment ça va? Bien, bien. Tu vas prendre ça off. OK. Des chaussures pour moi, s'il te plaît. Des chaussures, oui. Je pense que tu es 12, right? Ou 12,5? 12,5, oui. Merci, Steamer. Tu es bienvenu. Viens me voir si tu veux quelque chose d'autre. Hey, big guy! Comment ça va, man? New faces, sure, but same old challenge. There we go. Yep. Come on, boys. Here we go. Here we go. No, turn it here. Good morning. Ça va bien? T'es bien ça? C'est fun. Il y a beaucoup de monde, hein? Bon, merci, Daniel. Merci, les gars. Merci, les gars. C'était un feeling unique que j'oublierai jamais de ma vie, c'est sûr. C'est important pour moi de gagner ce fait là Je voulais mentionner toute ma vie et euh, je suis pas content. You're fine. 
Everybody's fine, and the teams begin the second period tied at one. against a lefty on this side. Push him to his back end, so now he's handcuffed. He's got nothing in the middle. That's a nice goal. Like, that's a, that's a goal scoring goal. the defenseman. You know who comes up to you? Yeah. I'll go behind him. Yeah. So he'll pass between. Me and Larry will have a two and one. Je pouvais pas le dire les dernières années parce que j'étais pour Chicago, mais c'est un honneur pour moi d'être ici puis euh, je vais en profiter au max. The players unpack their tan-colored suits for the California sun, and the team heads out for a western swing. But trade talk follows them everywhere, in every scrum. La période des échanges, je pense que c'est un peu mis plus gros que c'est vraiment en fait de travail parce que tu as des conversations qui commencent en septembre puis en novembre puis les noms reviennent dans des discussions. J'ai eu des appels sur certains joueurs comme Devante smith Paddy qui a commencé peut-être, on avait parlé de l'un mois, puis éventuellement on était capable de faire une transaction pour amener Steph Matteau ici à Montréal. C'est un moment très important dans la saison parce que c'est un point de bascule. Les équipes prennent des décisions. On voit si euh, la tendance, c'est OK, on fonce vers les séries, on a une chance de gagner la Coupe Stanley, ou on fait un pas de recul, on regarde notre organisation, les joueurs qu'on possède. C'est annonciateur, pas seulement de ce qui est en train de se passer, mais de ce qui va arriver dans, les, euh, dans les, les prochains mois et dans certains cas, les prochaines années. La date limite des transactions, c'est sûr que c'est fantastique à couvrir parce qu'il y a plein de mouvements. Il y a beaucoup d'adrénaline, c'est des longues heures, mais en même temps, on a à peine le temps de respirer. Aussitôt que ça arrive à midi, mon travail pour les échanges est terminé. Tu peux prendre un peu plus de repos pour une petite période de temps. Mike Brown took the usual road to work, but entered the building through a different door. I could come up a little bit earlier, so we could discuss about how we play. The system stuff, yeah. The system. All right. Okay. I'll come. No, I'll come no, right j'ai reçu un courriel de Marc Benjamin ce matin, me disant qu'il avait acquis uh, Mike Brown, puis uh, qu'il plaquait le numéro 13. J'ai appelé Mike uh, tout après pour faire sûr que le numéro 13 lui convenait, là, parce qu'il y a des joueurs qui sont superstitieux. C'était bien correct avec lui. J'ai parlé au gérant d'équipement de San Jose, parce que lui, son équipement est à l'heure en arrière de pratique. Il fait près à 20 minutes d'ici. Il a envoyé quelqu'un à la portée. Quand il était en train de faire son chandail, vu qu'il joue ce soir, bien, on n'a pas grand temps de surveiller le bord. J'ai des gants qui s'en viennent pour lui, euh, parce qu'il joue avec des gants STX. Puis ça, on n'a pas nous. J'ai personne qui joue avec ça. Fait que euh, j'ai une paire de gants pour lui qui s'en va à Naim, qui va être là, qui va nous attendre. 
Fait qu'en attendant ce soir, on va prendre une paire de gants d'un joueur là, qui sont déjà cassés. More sticks in your practice stuff out there. All right. So, bring this in for you. Look crazy. Huh? Look crazy. Look crazy. <laughs> on a amené des équipements de plus, là. J'ai des pantalons, des gants, des trucs comme ça. Le casque, bien naturellement. Tu viens avec des casques blancs. Fait que c'est ça qui nous facilite la tâche sur la route. On a fait juste changer les stickers et les numéros. Tu vas être tout prêt à jouer ce soir. Hey, any show's good for now. Yeah, just to get... If it was anything, it's easy. I, I wear the uh, okay. pretty thin girdle. I put on waivers at nine, uh, nine yesterday, so it was like three minutes after. I wasn't thinking straight. Yeah, where, where are you guys? Uh, hey, we're at SAT. Oh, Shark Tank doesn't begin to describe it. San Jose is looking to win a ninth consecutive home game against the Canadians, and their sixth of seven most recent meetings with Montreal. That's it. Ah! San Jose has a surprisingly poor record at home and had played less than 24 hours earlier. But their offensive prowess was too much for the decimated Montreal Blue Line. Michel Therrien's troops dropped this one 6-2. For a player, the key at trade deadline is to keep the mind focused on absolutely anything else. That's the business. When the trade deadline comes around, you know, I think everyone in the back of their mind kind of knows that there's a possibility that anyone could get moved, but I kind of try not to worry about it because if you get too distracted and too caught up in those things, it will probably affect your play. You approach it the same way that you do any other day. Everybody's a professional, everybody knows it's a possibility, and the last thing you want to do is be in your own head, overthinking you know, possibilities that might not even uh, come to fruition. So, um, you know, you just come to the rink, work hard, and uh, play as many games as you can for this team, and if it ends up that you go to a different team, it's, it's just uh, the nature of the beast. You have to uh, give it 110% and be committed to the organization you're with at the time, and um, whatever happens past that is out of your control, and it's all about uh, dealing with changes and um, making the best of every opportunity that comes to you. You never know if you're going to be the one that gets traded or not. I mean, sometimes there's rumors so you can prepare, but when it's kind of out of the blue, I mean, it's a big surprise. and. Um, you know, it's pretty sad at first, you know, you have a lot of friends, a lot of bonds between teammates and you have to leave them and form new ones, but it's just part of the business. It's the life we live and, uh, you know, we get to make new friends somewhere else. J'ai formé des relations puis des, des amitiés à New Jersey, puis c'est dur à partir, mais je, je regarde dans le futur puis j'ai excité puis je suis vraiment heureux d'être ici puis commencer une nouvelle histoire. You have to leave your family and go to another family kind of thing. Uh, not to say that the family on the other side is, uh is any different or worse, obviously, but these are your brothers, you know. You go to battle with them every day, you see them every day on a consistent basis, so it's a very, very hard moment when you first learn it to uh, say goodbye to everybody and have to move on. We're on the ice six days a week. We're on the road, traveling, uh, going out for dinners together. You know, it can be tough, especially when, I guess, you prefer to stick with a group that you know and that you like and that uh, you believe in. You don't really have time to say bye, and especially on a game day when something like that happens so fast, they're trying to get their stuff together, and you know, you're trying to get ready for a game, so you usually just shoot them a text or something, and sometimes things happen at night and you don't even see them the next day. You just pack your bag and you go off to your next team. I mean, 
You know, Mike, uh, yesterday, he, one morning, he's, he's playing with San Jose, and the next he's playing against his own team within a few hours. Since I was on waivers the uh, day before, I was just staying at home. They had pregame skate, and I was told just to kind of wait and see what uh, see what happened. Bergevin called me, and uh, guys were over at SAP Center, so we went right to SAP like I normally would. Uh, just went to the other side. It's a definitely weird situation to be in San Jose and traded and playing San Jose that same day. It was a little goofy at times with the colors of the teams. Normally it would have taken a few games, and I would have been used to the Montreal colors but uh, you know now I have time on my hands to to get used to it I've been traded a few times already in my career and you know it's all how you approach it it's it's not oh this team doesn't want me it's the team that you're going to gave something up to get me I guess the approach that you take to a trade probably is going to determine how you feel about it it's been so fast I've been changed the night before and the next day I'm going to the Centre Bell and I'm going to play one of my dreams that I've always wanted I've seen my chandail with my number and my name my locker it was really euh, unique. J'essaie de encore de trouver un poste régulier dans le national. Je suis vraiment excité puis vraiment content de commencer tout ça avec une nouvelle équipe, un nouveau entourage puis c'est vraiment un rêve de jouer pour les Canadiens. They've treated me like a, like a first class NHL player ever since I've been here. You know, I've uh, had all the resources I can get to uh, be at the top of my game every night and uh, you know, obviously I'm still young in my career so I'm uh, still uh, looking to get a lot better. Pierre Allard the Canadian strength and conditioning guru pays homage to the California sky as the players replace practice with a good stretch and sun salutations. When I knew that there would be no training today, but at that moment, it was to enjoy the place here, to enjoy the sun. I'm sure that it's a plus. And then that the guys are all together together, it's even better. Ça n'arrive pas souvent dans une saison qu'on a des moments comme ça. Il faut en profiter, ça, ça c'est important, parce qu'on est dans le beat tous les jours. On joue surtout à cette période-ci de l'année, c'est plus de jouer à tous les deux jours. Il y a même des back-to-back -back encore, que, que c'est important de, de profiter de ces moments-là, relaxer, puis refaire le plein d'énergie, puis on retourne au travail demain. This time, it'll be the big bad ducks of Anaheim. And despite ultimately losing the war, the Canadians will show a stiff upper lip when faced with brutish adversity. I just walked in and I see my name on the board paired with Barbario and, you know, obviously a lot of relief and excitement, just a lot of emotions. And, and I let everyone back home know right away. This is for them as well. You know, it's not only for me, so i got to make the most of it. Morgan Ellis performs a solo orchestrated by his teammates and tailor-made for a young gun. cross-check that sends Greg Pattern into the boards will lead to a handful of stitches, an impassioned reaction by Montreal's coaching captain, and four minutes in penalties for the Canadians. Kevin Bieksa takes a shot at Lars Eller, and this time, the rookie McCarron will dole out justice on behalf of a teammate. Gallagher goes down low, hoping, maybe, to find that special touch as Montreal strives to reconnect with the feeling of victory.
The final result does not reflect the type of effort delivered by the Canadians. The Ducks prevail in the standings, but the Habs will find in Cali something akin to a moral victory. You know, it was a great experience. Um, you know, one I will remember for, for the rest of my life, obviously. And you know, it was great, to, great to have everyone back home support me. I got a lot of, a lot of, you know, text messages, Facebook messages, social media. You know, people rooting for me and you know, hoping the best for me. And you know, it's a four-hour time difference back home, so there's going to be a lot of, a lot of sleepy uh, faces tomorrow. But you know, it's uh, it's great to have that support back home. I have something special for you. Perfect. Thank you very much. So that's appreciate that. the, the official for the team. Thank you, I appreciate the NHL. that. Keep that. Montreal loses another pair of road games before heading back home. In Los Angeles, the Canadians will run into the Pacific leading Kings and blow a tire in a 3 2 loss. A few nights later, Mark Scheifele will register his first career hat trick as the Jets down the Habs 4 2. With the trade deadline passed and new faces coming and going, Struggle will remain the only constant for these Canadians. J'ai joué un an avec les Oilers de Moncton. Je suis devenu agent libre. J'avais pas de contrat. J'avais dit à Pierre Lacroix à l'époque qui était mon agent, Pierre, essaye de me faire échanger au Canadien de Montréal. C'est là que je vais aller jouer. J'avais eu euh, succès toute ma carrière contre euh, le Canadien de Montréal. Quand je jouais pour Toronto ou Edmonton, je réussissais toujours à avoir des bons matchs contre le Canadien. Fait que J'espérais que ça avait un impact dans les décisions de Serge Chavard d'aller me chercher. Mais à une semaine du camp d'entraînement, j'ai reçu un appel. C'était Pierre Lacroix qui me disait que j'avais été changé pour le Canadien. J'étais soulagé, j'étais content, j'étais heureux, euh, j'étais fier. C'était une journée euh, assez émotive. C'est euh, Rich Hero qui m'a appelé et m'a dit euh, Je ne sais pas si tu le sais, mais on t'est changé à Montréal. Puis je ne savais pas encore. Fait que... C'est une grosse nouvelle. Ça s'est fait vraiment vite. Puis euh, une couple d'heures plus tard, j'étais dans l'avion. Puis je m'en ici. I was just uh, laying in my bed, watching some TV at around uh, 7 o'clock, and uh, my general manager from the Coyotes called me and uh, said that they had made a trade and I was involved in it. So it was, um, you know, kind of uh, quick for me. I had to go to the rink, get my stuff, and uh, be on a plane about two hours later. Pretty uh, scrambly for me at the time, getting a lot of phone calls and stuff, but uh, you know. Looking back on it, I uh, was a very, very happy person. You know, it was definitely uh, weird in a way, um, you know, but exciting. Gave me, uh, gave me a little time to kind of uh, grab some things and uh, say bye to the family. But um, yeah, typically, I mean, uh, you never know. I could have, I could have been on the road and uh, you know met the team on the road or uh, you know uh, anything, anything could have happened. So it's a definitely weird situation to uh, to be in San Jose and traded traded and playing San Jose that same day. When it happened, I was certainly happy to come to Montreal. I was very happy to be here, knowing that Patrick was here. After that, you looked at the team we had. We had a very good team. And then, it's a shock. The big reason for it, it's a shock, but it's the family that you have to move, the children, and all that. It's not always easy on that side, but it's still a little bit like coming home. It's also like coming home. We were happy to come here, and we were happy to come here, and we were happy to come here, and we were happy to come here to play more for the Canadians. We were young, we were looking at the Canadians in Montreal. It's a lot of stories, and there was a lot of excitement. We're so happy to be in Montreal for another three years. It's just incredible for us. Um, give our family a little bit more stability, a little bit more security. It, you know, it's paramount, and we we love playing in Montreal, and you know, it's uh, it's amazing for our kids. The original six teams, you know, most Stanley Cups. You know, you know, there's a recipe for success here. I believe. Um, you look at the players that have gone through here. Uh, they do a great job at developing players. I believe. Um, so you know, any time you can come to a franchise like this as a player, it's. Uh, it's a very humbling experience for sure. The cool part about hockey is that, you know, I can guarantee I've played with someone who's played with those guys. So there's always a, a common denominator. There's a, um, another player that we both know that we both have come in contact with, player or, or coach or someone that you can, you know, have that uh, immediate link and, oh, you know, you played with so-and-so here and, oh yeah, a good guy or, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden now you have that common ground that you can, you know, start to get to know somebody. You know, definitely excited to have, uh, more help, and uh, a couple of the guys are, are from Montreal, so I'm, I'm sure they're uh, quite excited to, to be wearing the uh, red, white, and blue there. It's tough because it's really hard to walk into a dressing room after guys have played 60-something games that year together and kind of fit in, and you're getting in there right prior to everyone kind of gearing up for the playoffs and you know getting everything set. 
These guys have battled together all year and you're kind of like the new guy coming in. You know, hockey players are, are respectful people and you want to ease in and, you know, gain your respect with your new teammates. So it's a tough time to be traded. La plupart du temps, tu ne vois pas venir. C'est rendu une business là, hockey. Là. Tu le sais, tu as un âge que tu deviens euh, joueur autonome sans compensation. Euh, si tu ne t'entends pas avec ton équipe, c'est sûr qu'ils t'échangent. Parce qu'ils ne perdront pas pour rien. Ils vont aller chercher quelque chose en retour. Et à 31 ans, je suis parti à San Jose et j'ai eu cinq belles années là-bas. Fait que des fois, un changement, c'est bénéfique pour une carrière. Euh, j'ai beaucoup de support des gars aussi qui m'aident à rentrer dans l'équipe. Donc ça, c'est beaucoup plus facile. Puis, euh... Good, uh, the bon leader. Je pense, on a une très bonne équipe. I played with a few of these guys before, and uh, you know, obviously, my time spent in Toronto. I, uh, you know, I played against a lot of these guys here, and you know, I'll be, I was welcomed here um, pretty good yesterday. Um, you know, yesterday was first game, so um, we're just going to go over. They went over uh, a lot of stuff with me. It's a lot to take in in one day, but uh, you know, the guys so far, the players, everybody, the staff, management, everyone's been uh, great to me, and. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the uh, future here. This is our group, and this is this is where we go. You know, there's no more change. Nobody's coming in. No one's leaving. Um, you know, it uh, starts and ends with the group that we have in that room, and uh, that can be liberating, I guess, a little bit. Where now we can, you know, take out any distractions that might be out there, and we just focus on ourselves. We still have a few games left in the season here, and I think we're just, you know, this is the team that we have going forward. I think everyone knows that they're going to be here now. Maybe that takes some weight off their shoulders and, um, you know, we can just play together as a team.